A joyful and great day to everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. By the way, I am Teacher Rowie and I will be with you today to listen to another story from the Bible. Please prepare the following materials. Pencil or ball pen, paper or notebook, and coloring materials. We will use it later for our activity. Come on and let's begin. We will pray first to our God. Now, let us close our eyes and listen attentively. Abba, Father, our King, you are our all-powerful God. You are the God who gave us life and strength. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us in the care of your blessed hands and guiding us through the days of our life. Please forgive the mistakes that we have made and help us to learn from them. Be with us, Lord, as we listen to your words. We hope that we can understand its lessons wholeheartedly. Please help us to be obedient children to our parents and to you, our Lord. This is our prayer and thanksgiving in the name of God, Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. How are you, children? I hope you are all happy and healthy. Before we start to our new story, come and join me to our first activity. I will show you some letters and you need to complete the words shown on the screen. Did you complete the word, children? Good job! Let us now proceed with our story. Our story for today is written in Esther chapter 6 verse 1 to 14, titled, The King Honors Mordecai. That same night, the king could not sleep, so he told the servant to bring the history book and read it to him. The servant read the book to the king. He read about the evil plan to kill King Xerxes. That was when Mordecai had learned about Big Tana and Teresh. These two men were the king's officers who guarded the doorway. They had planned to kill the king, but Mordecai learned about the plan and told someone about it. Then the king asked, What honor and good things have been given to Mordecai for this? The servant answered the king, Nothing has been done for Mordecai. Haman had just entered the outer area of the king's palace. He had come to ask the king to hang Mordecai on the hanging post Haman had commanded to be built. The king said, Who just came into the courtyard? The king's servant said, Haman is standing in the courtyard. So the king said, Bring him in. When Haman came in, the king asked him a question. He said, Haman, what should be done for a man the king wants to honor? Haman thought to himself, Who is there that the king would want to honor more than me? I'm sure that the king is talking about honoring me. So Haman answered the king, Do this for the man the king loves to honor. Have the servants bring a special robe the king himself has worn, and the horse the king himself has ridden. Have the servants put the king's special mark on the horse's head. Then put one of the king's most important leaders in charge of the robe and the horse, and let the leader 
put the robe on the man the king wants to honor. Then let him lead him on the horse through the city streets. As he leads him, let him announce, This is done for the man the king wants to honor. Go quickly, the king commanded Haman. Get the robe and the horse and do just as you have suggested for Mordecai the Jew. He is sitting near the king's gate. Do everything that you suggested. So Haman got the robe and the horse. Then he put the robe on Mordecai and led him on horseback through the city streets. Haman announced ahead of Mordecai, This is done for the man the king wants to honor. After that, Mordecai went back to the king's gate. But Haman hurried home with his head covered because he was embarrassed and ashamed. Then Haman told his wife, Seresh, and all his friends everything that had happened to him. His wife and the men who gave him advice said, If Mordecai is a Jew, you cannot win. You have already started to fall. Surely, you will be ruined. While they were still talking to Haman, the king's eunuchs came to Haman's house. They made Haman hurry to the party that Esther had prepared. And this is where our story ends, children. It's so good to hear God's words. I am sure we all learned something. What are the lessons that we should learn? Lessons to be learned Number 1. Be humble at all times. Like what we heard in the story, we should be humble like Mordecai. As Pamanes, we should not be proud or arrogant. Remember, it was written in the Bible that anyone who makes themselves important will be made humble. We should never forget that we receive every blessing from God, not because of ourselves. Number 2. Having humility has a reward. In the story, the king gave Mordecai a reward because of his humility. When we are humble, we will also receive God's blessings. Now, let us proceed to our activity. Bring out your activity sheet and other materials. Are you ready? Yes! Draw Mordecai and connect the dots just like the picture on the screen. Color the picture and write your name above it. Activity, I will read six statements and tell me if it shows humility or arrogance. If it shows humility, draw a smiley face. If it shows arrogance, draw a sad face. Number 1. Jimmy went home excitedly and showed an A plus grade on his quiz. When he got home, he thanked his mother because she helped him review the night before his quiz. Number 2. Tommy got new shoes and told her classmates that her shoes were expensive. Number 3. Carl has a wealthy family. However, even though they have a lot of money, his friends say Carl loves to share. Number 4. Elizabeth performs well in her sport and academics. 
She always thanks the Lord for her abilities. Number 5. Justin went to his friend's home. He saw that their television was old and teased his friends about it. Number 6. Justin's sibling brought dirty toys into their house. He knows that their mother will clean the mess. However, as an older brother, he cleaned the toys. For our memory verse, please hear this. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2 Always be humble and gentle. Be patient and accept each other with love. How was it? Do you feel blessed today? This is where we end our dear Pamana. Again, let us all stand and close our eyes for our closing prayer. Abba, Father, our King, you are our great and almighty God. Thank you, Lord, for the lessons that you have taught us. Help us to be humble children and loving to our siblings, family, and friends. And may you always guide and protect us. In this we pray and give thanks in the name of God, Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Have you learned something today? Thank you so much, kids. Remember, always obey God. See you again. Miss Pa! Is everything. He taught me how to praise Him. He taught me how to sing a song. He taught me how to love Him. He made me a little servant of the Lord. My Lord is amazing. My God. Everything. He taught me how to praise Him He taught me how to sing a song He taught me how to love Him He made me a little servant of the Lord He made me a little servant of the Lord He made me a little servant the Lord